very simple, but very hard to make you feel energy is correct. What is the problem? First, we talk about the footwork. The footwork is the first time we are doing empty stance. When you are doing the empty stance, what is the toe direction? Easy, right? So one corner, one straight, as before. But difference from both stance, we don't have a shoulder with hard space. We are just close to center of the side. Now I want my question is, this is a heel touch. You use which part of the heel touch ground? No, no, heel touch. Which part? Not so sure, right? <laughs> okay, so often we can say some people heel touch. Exactly, it's a heel. But actually, heel touch, I would like you to use, I don't know how to say, hold this part of the heel as a touch, and you feel rooting into it. You don't just uh, heel edge to touch it, which is your toe don't have to lift up too much. Slide it to the ground, okay, and the whole heel, more area reach ground, will give you more rooting feeling. Okay, so this is about the footwork when you do the empty stance. Later, when we do the empty stance, touch with the ball, I don't need you toe touch. We call toe touch sometimes, but actually it's whole ball of your foot touch. Even just all toe touch, this is not what I want. I want your ball is touching point. Okay, so this is a footwork. We need to make it clear. And arm movements. Okay, so here I need you clear for what your arms open from to close. You need to connect. Open is open close. You feel it's very local, right? And and also sometimes you don't feel you use waist enough. So here I need you to do is move back with turn left or in and open. You need a waist. Weight shifting, open it. And the close, you with weight shifting to the close. Okay, and uh, you feel open by moving back, close by moving forward, open, close. You kind of use yin yang move motion and storage your energy to do it. Plus, when you close it, you're not only moving forward weight, you are also waist turn to do the close so this is the difference so if you can make energy continue to do it and the waist you are moving forward moving back and also you can use your waist to do it then this movement you will more feel energy in back together so the problem is you only open arms close and sometimes you even finish your footwork, then you, you know, arms close. Then you don't feel the lower body energy come from your lower body, right? Come from your feet. So if you can make the coordination more match, then you will feel this movement is very strong. Okay, and uh, also this movement is a very, very useful movement. And then that means you always have to do the front. A point in the side, from the side. You still can do it, and all it's about, you know, side energy close in. So sometimes you have a left side uh, to help, but sometimes you don't. One arm, a corner touch you, it's the same as, you know, you do the grabbing. Two energy points, one energy point, second energy point. A corner touch you, this is one energy point, and the second energy point you can come. They grab you here, you use small. They grab you big, you do the big. So the small, big, always work. So uh, when they touch you, you can think about, you know, raise hands, step forward. Okay. And uh, uh, next movement, uh, white cream spread swing, where we have to pay attention. For work, we've been already talked. Uh, I only need you to pay attention is picking up right foot to do the stop. Okay, it's not turn. Question? Why, why is it picking 
Uh, when you are turning, your foot position cannot change. When you're picking up, your footwork can go back, can go forward. So which is you can use the stop conditioning space between you and your opponent. Okay, that's why we want you to do as a stop, not just a turn. Okay, and the second part uh, about the actually footwork is. A, if you can make this clear, that should be all right. And then you only need to clear each time when we make a footwork, always we ask you to close in to stepping out. This is our generally uh, method. Uh, both stance and stance always is like this. So close in, stepping out, which is close. Close, where is your root? From root, center stepping out. Don't you know, sideways stuff. Okay, so that's a that is not our method. Okay, so always close to center and go out. Close to center, go out. Okay, so this is about the uh, method. And uh, uh, next about our movement, where we have to pay attention for the white thing open swing. Actually, it's on your left arm. First, we need to understand that the circle motion is from a down to up close but we have a problem is when you go down to up always we have a problem is you know raise up your chi circle so this time you have to pay attention the circle cannot always use the shoulder at the beginning you rotate it is shoulder as a circle point but soon you need to change from a rotate arm and Make elbow dropping down to do the circle. Okay, cannot straight use the circle. That's why make your uh, shoulder raising up, chi raising up. So here a little technique is keep arm stay here, elbow rotate. Then you know you can circle your arm again. So use elbow rotating to keep your chi stay. Okay, so this is the one part we need to make it clear. Next, about the technique, I would like you to show from here when arms close, coordination, foot touching ground, moving weight showing as a shoulder strike, okay, and showing ward of up, pushing down, go together. Ward of up, I need your arm roll to lead your palm turn. Don't turn your wrist. And pushing down, I need you sitting side of your hip, and not from your body, not too far from your body. So close in. And the upper one, you need to cover your head, over your head. No angle, rounded, rounded enough. And the torso, don't lean back, sink enough. And the pelvis, close in. Okay, so this is about why queen opening to me.